Call of Duty Warzone has just launched recently and gamers from all over the world are excited about the game. This game is literally a big one to explore. The adrenaline rushing through the veins of 150 players in the game can easily be felt in the battlefield and everyone wants to learn the game and ace it as quickly as possible. Don't worry, we've got you covered because this video is dedicated to some important tips and tricks to improve in the game. So welcome back to GDI. Lay back and enjoy because in today's video, we are going to talk about 10 tips you probably didn't know about Warzone. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We upload new videos every Monday and Friday. So without no further ado, let us begin with the video. We will begin with dropping. You might want to get to the ground as soon as possible, but what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually start shooting people while you're all still in the air from the plane ride. Open your parachute and then close it again and you'll draw your weapon allowing you to shoot at other enemies both in the air and down below. Just remember to reopen your parachute later on. And to reach the ground faster, all you have to do is use the mouse to face in the direction you want to drop and hold the forward button and you will see a massive improvement in your speed. Again, don't forget to open the parachute on time. And the good thing about the parachute is that Warzone allows you to use parachute again and again, unlike PUBG or even Fortnite. You can open your parachute multiple times when dropping from the plane at any other time when you're far enough from the ground too, remember. The second tip for you is that the circle or the safe zone where you won't be affected by the gas which is marked by a white circle on the map moves in smaller increments than most battle royales for most of the game. For the first three quarters of a game or so, if you manage to get to the center, you can expect to stay safe there for a while. So always try to get to the center if you are a new player. Tip number three is that you might be knowing that each player can be revived once via the Gula, which means when you die for the first time in the match in the game, you'll be sent to a place called the Gula. Here you have to win a one-on-one -on -one fight for the chance to return to the battlefield and the winner gets to drop back into action near their squad. You can only go once. There's also a self revive ability you can buy from one of the in-game stores too and your squad can also buy you back in by visiting one of designated stores on the map but these require a lot of cash. For this we recommend you go to a scavenger hunt missions in the beginning of the game which brings up to our next tip, participating in scavenger hunt contracts. In these missions you have to look for boxes that must be open to complete the challenge. These can be found by locating the small yellow magnifying glass, either on your mini map or compass. This will denote a supply box in your vicinity that needs to be open. You'll only have a small window of time to complete this objective and your squad will need to open up all three before the timer expires to be given the cash reward. This way you can make enough cash to buy different utilities and revive yourself or your teammates. The fifth and one of the most important tips is trying to develop a habit of spending money on time. As a rule, spend your money early and often. Self-resurrect is the priority at $4,500. After that, it's your choice, but don't sit on your money. Don't just save it, spend it on necessary items because if you die, you lose it. Even if you come back via the gula, so there's no point in hoarding unless you're saving it up for something specific. So try to save $4,500 to revive yourself and after that try to spend it on stores across the map. They're marked by little shopping trolleys on your map. Visit one and use cash earned in that match from kills and collecting loose cash from looting to buy things like additional armor plates, the self-resurrection ability or other bonuses. Next tip is regarding the circle. Rotting the edge of the circle is a high risk, high reward strategy. It's risky because the circle moves faster in the later game and the gas is lethal, but keeping your back to the circle means you're guaranteed no one else can flank you from behind. Drop somewhere wide on the map, loot safely and gradually move inwards in time with the closing circle to safely get to the later game. But play safe. The glass moves fast and does a fair bit of damage. This isn't like other games where you can hang out in the gas for a while. You'll die too soon. Now, the next tip might not be new to a lot of people, but it is an important one. Items are color coordinated by rarity, 
which generally but not always indicates their quality. White is common, green uncommon, blue rare, purple epic, and orange legendary. The rarity also indicates the number of attachments or perks an item has, up to a max of 4. This can help you in measuring the risk before going for a loot, especially if you're hiding in cover from your enemies. If it's a white one, stay where you are. It may not be worth your risk. Eighth tip for you today is that tall buildings are incredible for camping, and there are great combos for making it even more effective. Using a scouting contract, which rewards you for holding in an area briefly by revealing the location of the next circle in yellow. Find a tall building near the center of that, kit yourself with a scoped rifle of some kind, and use a claymore by the door to the roof. Some buildings are upward of 13 stories and give you an amazing sight advantage for sniping or marking enemies, and you can parachute down to rapidly reposition when needed. Next tip is getting a sophisticated UAV and spot all your enemies on the map as you are able to purchase more important items such as the UAV, which displays part of the map and shows you enemies that are close by. Yet, there's another trick you can try with this tool. If it's used by all three teammates at the same time, the UAV will display the positions and orientation of the other 147 players, but nothing is for free. The tool costs amount to $4,000 and it can only be used for a limited amount of time. So spend on it if you have enough money because you'll also be needing money to make a comeback if you die and it costs around $4,500 for resurrection. The final tip for you today is to watch out for the redeployment signal flares. We already indicated how a team can respawn a teammate that's been eliminated by purchasing a redeployment item from one of the buy stations. Therefore, watch out for the signal flares that start flashing once the tool is in use. In order to ensure your teammate's safe comeback and avoid being killed by your rivals, remember that they will be back with hardly any guns at all and will often be ambushed by a rival team in an attempt to kill them at this very moment. It is therefore important for you as a player to watch out for these signals whenever to eliminate a weak rival or to protect your revived teammate. So this is it for the video on 10 tips you probably didn't know in Call of Duty Warzone. We hope this video was informative as well as entertaining. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscription on our channel Gaming Daily Input for more videos like this and to keep yourself updated in the gaming world. Our team is having a great time playing this game, so we will upload a full series on Call of Duty Wars on playing guides. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or requests. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.